I titled my book Thrall because I was looking up um, when I was finishing Native Guard in the dictionary, as I always do in the OED, words I think I know the definition to, to remind myself of secondary and tertiary on and on definitions for the figurative possibilities that they can um, add to a poem. And when I looked up the word native, I found something unexpected. I, I'd expected to see the primary definition, um, the one that suggested if someone was a native of Mississippi or a plant that's native to Georgia. But what came up instead was someone born in, into the condition of servitude, a thrall. And so the word, of course, has with it all the ideas of colonialism and empire. When we go there to colonize those people, they are the natives. They are in thrall to us. Um, but also it has with it the idea of being enthralled um, by beauty, the way that we respond to art, are captivated by someone we are in love with. And so all those possibilities to me seemed a great way um, into a book that I felt like I had to write. Thrall is a book very much about a history of knowledge, of ideas that come down to us, uh, strangely enough, from the Enlightenment, uh, where we first began to codify and classify racial difference, uh, resulting in all kinds of taxonomies and language for superiority and inferiority. I thought it was a great irony that the Enlightenment would give also to us uh, these ideas about racial difference that are made manifest even in our relationships, in the, in the public discourse, and in the intimate discourses within families. So this is a book that is dedicated to my father also, who is a poet and who is my white parent. Thrall, Juan de Pereja, 1670. He was not my father, though he might have been. I came to him the mulatto son of a slave woman, just that, as if it took only my mother to make me a mulatto, meaning any white man could be my father. In his shop bound to the muller, I ground his colors, my hands dusted black with fired bone, stained blue and flecked with glass, my nails edged vermilion as if my fingertips bled. In this way, just as I turned the pages of his books, I meant to touch everything he did. With Velasquez in Rome, a divination. At market, I lingered to touch the bright hulls of lemons, closed my eyes until the scent was oil and thinner, yellow ochre in my head. And once, the sudden taste of iron, a glimpse of red like a wound opening, the robes of the Pope at portrait, that bright shade of blood before it darkens, purpling nearly to black. Because he said painting was not labor, was the province of free men, I could only watch. Such beauty in the work of his hands, his quick strokes, a divine language I learned over his shoulder, my own hands tracing the air in his wake. Forbidden to answer in paint, I kept my canvases secret, hidden until Velasquez decreed unto me myself. Free, I was apprentice, he my master still. How intently at times could he fix his keen eye upon me, though only once did he fix me in paint, my color a study, my eyes wide as I faced him, a lace collar at my shoulders as though I'd been born noble, the yoke of my birth gone from my neck. In his hand, a long brush to keep him far from the canvas, far from it as I was. The distance between us doubled that he could observe me twice, stand closer to what he made. For years, I looked to it as one looks into a mirror. And so, in the calling of St. Matthew, I painted my own likeness of freemen in the house of customs waiting to pay my duty. In my hand, an answer, a slip of paper, my signature on it, Juan de Pereja, 1661, Velasquez, one year gone. Behind me, upright on a shelf, a forged platter, luminous as an aureole just beyond my head. My face turned to look out from the scene, a self-portrait to make it 
I looked at how my master saw me. Then I narrowed my eyes. Now, at the bright edge of sleep, mother, she comes back to me as sound, her voice in the echo of bird call, a single syllable, again and again my name, one, 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 or a bit of song that waking I cannot grasp. <laughs>